Hey everybody, welcome back to Prescription Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're going to be digging into Four Roses Small Batch Select. It was released second half of 2019. I had not done a review on it yet, so I figured I would. I would. We'll do a little quick hit on this, get into get into the taste and uh, and the value of it, and um, and then do a comparison against another bourbon. So let's go. So Four Roses Small Batch Select is the fourth permanent uh, release in the Four Roses brand of bourbons. Some people call it the fourth rose. Um, this guy builds on the normal uh, Four Roses Small Batch and, um, and we'll get into the details as of why. I'm going to go ahead and pour a glass while I'm talking. Um, but the normal Four Roses uh, small batch contains uh, four um, of the ten Four Roses uh, bourbon profiles. Anybody not familiar with Four Roses, they've got two different mash bills. One that's 75% corn, 20% rye, and one that's 60% corn, 35% rye. And they've got five different yeast strains. Um, so they're all numbered. Um, the mash bills are the B and the E mash bills, and the uh, yeast strains are your S, B, K, F, O's. So just reading this, uh, now this was, uh, you know, obviously uh, brought to market by Master Distiller Brent Elliott. Um, he personally selected these six mash bills or flavor recipes. Um, he went with the... Uh, the V, the K, and the F uh, yeasts from both mash bills. So it's going to be the B and the E mash bills and the V, the K, and the F. The V being fruit, the K being spice, and the F being herbal. Your normal Four Roses small batch only has four of the flavor profiles. It has the K and the O uh, yeast strains, which the K is the spice, the O is intense fruit, I guess more so than the V, which is which is fruity, and uh, and once again both mash bills. So both mash bills with the K and the and the O uh, on the normal. Um, this guy has six. It has the the V, the K, and the F, which is your fruit, your spice, your herbal, with both mash bills. Now the two mash bill, the two um, the two different mash bills. Uh, like I say, one of them is 60% corn, 35% rye, so it's a very high rye mash bill. The other one is 75% uh, corn, 20% rye, which is still considered a high rye mash bill. So obviously combining these, it's going to be somewhere between 20 and 35% rye. All right, let's um, give this guy a nose. Getting, I'm getting vanilla. Light fruitiness. I got a little hint of, a, of an east there for a moment. Yeah. Nice color on it. Uh, it's a nice amber color. We'll go in for a taste. Very nice. All right, one thing I forgot to mention was the uh, the proof on this. This comes in at 104 proof. Uh, the normal four rows of small batch is 90 proof. Um, this is also non-chill filtered. I'd say it. It tastes uh, probably below its proof. It, uh, it doesn't taste uh, very, very strong or alcohol forward. It's, it, uh, it went down easy, um, had good flavor on the, on the tongue. I 
I should say good coating on the tongue. Um, it's I didn't have any heat at all going down, so it went down very easy. All right, yeah, the flavors though, I'm, I'm getting some cinnamon, I'm getting some uh, some baking spices, um, and that nutmeg or clove, something there. Um, a little bit of mint, um, even though I smelled the um, the licorice on the nose, I'm not getting that on the taste. I, I'm getting a slight bit of mint on the taste, but um, but yeah, easy going down, uh, medium finish, good flavor. Um, yeah, excellent. Now, another thing I didn't mention was uh, the availability of this. Um, and when this was released last year in 2019, it was only available in five states. Um, I know Kentucky was one, Texas was one, maybe North Carolina, Michigan, I'm not sure. Um, this year they added like 10 more states. And next year, 2021, it's supposed to be available nationwide. So I'm sorry if you're having trouble getting this, finding this. But um, it is becoming more and more available. Uh, Price-wise, um, this guy comes in at around fifty dollars now here in Kentucky. When I when this first came out last year, I saw it for forty-five dollars or whatever. I, you know, I, I bought a bottle. I know I bought a bottle for forty-five dollars. Uh, but now I've been seeing the price more like fifty, fifty-five dollars here. Um, so it's definitely gone up a hair since it came out just last year. All right. Um, Pour it a little bit more in there, uh, just so I can do a side-by-side -side tasting with another bourbon here. Uh, I wanted to pick something that had a similar proof, uh, was non-chill filtered, so it'd be, you know, fairly even, even matchup. And with that, probably no surprise to most people, but I'm going to go with my old standby. I'm going to go with uh, Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. So now, Jim Beam Distiller's Cut is non-chill filtered comes in at 100 proof um, it's aged five to six years um, you know the barrels are the bottle the barrels are personally selected by Fred No supposedly master distiller uh, at Jim Beam so I've, I've been uh, very high on the Jim Beam distillers cut for the last couple of years so what we've got, let me let me label these guys before I mix them up, and um, we're gonna go with um, Jim Beam and Four Roses. All right, we'll get these guys labeled. We'll get them mixed up here. So, so yeah, so Jim Beam Distillers Cut. It's a limited release. Um, like I mentioned, the Four Roses. Uh, Small Batch Select is a permanent release. It's, it's the fourth permanent release in the Four Roses brand. Uh, Jim Beam's had several, um, you know, limited releases in the last couple of years. Uh, most notably was the Repeal Batch, um, which was non-chill filtered. Um, this distiller's cut um, came out in 2017. So we're gonna give these guys a head-to-head -head matchup, uh, see which one um, I would pick, um, price wise, like I said, $50 on this guy in the down days. This guy, if you can find it, it's under 25. So half the price, uh, I get it for $22. Like I say, I was able to get this for 45, uh, but I've seen it higher than that lately. So, uh, we will, um, all right, we'll go in and, uh, Check out the aroma, check out the taste. That's a light, oaky, fruity aroma on that one. We'll go in for a taste. Good mouthfeel, good, good um, spice on the back of the tongue, a little bit of heat going down. Good flavor, um, definitely some spice, some cinnamon. Um, it's not quite peppery, I'd, I'd say cinnamon. 
um, you've got the vanilla, um, some caramel, um, yeah. Light citrus. Yeah, light on the tongue. Uh, coating, but um, good flavor. There's there's definitely some vanilla. There's definitely some some nutmeg, clove, some kind of baking spice, gingerbread type spice. More warmth on the tongue than going down. Um, might be wrong, but I, I, that, that tastes what I just tasted a few minutes ago on the, on the Four Roses. This guy is definitely spicier. Um, got the cinnamon. It's got the it's more of a mouth coating. Um, I might be wrong on what I think is which one, but um, this is my personal preference here. Um, I, li I like this one a little better. Just the spice on it, the mouth coating. Um, uh, this one, this one's lighter. Uh, not doesn't have the mouth coating. They're both non-chill filtered. Doesn't have the thick mouth coating. It um, the finish on it's good though. I mean, it, and there might be a little bit of spice that comes back on the finish. Um, it's got some citrus notes to come back in there. But just overall, I'm gonna go with this one as my as my pick. Take a look here, and I'm completely wrong. That one's the Four Roses, and that one's the Jim Beam. So there you go. I called that one wrong. The uh, the Four Roses. Good mouth coating. Um, good amount of spice, mostly on the tongue, but there is some warmth going down. All right, if anything, the Jim Beam, the Silver's Cut, has a longer finish, uh, and the spice comes back on the finish. Um, it, it doesn't hit you as much up front, but it it comes back. Uh, the Four Roses actually has a better mouthfeel. Um, it's lighter on there on the nose and the and the palate. But um, I tell you what, it did. It, uh, it drinks incredibly easy. Um, it does have a good finish. Um, it's got good good mouth coating is it you know is is the good thing here so now this comes in at, at twice the price of this guy um, would I recommend it yeah I would give it a try um, see what you think um, if you see the sellers cut on the shelf I recommend it also I mean I've been recommending it now for for a couple of years um, I don't think you can go wrong with it but um, at twice the price yeah, this guy's worth a try. You may love it. It may become one of your your you know your new daily drinker. We'll see. If you like what you see here, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Appreciate any feedback. And remember, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. And the best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers, guys.